please join me in welcoming Maciej Kaviek of Marantis. Uh, my name is Maciej Kwiek. I work as a software developer at Mirantis. And uh, today I will talk to you a bit about how, uh, we are, uh, how we are adding the advanced orchestration capabilities provided by App Controller to Helm, or how you can boost Helm with App Controller. So, first of all, I guess most of you know what Helm is and use it. Uh, it's super awesome. You, uh, Helm supports dependencies, so you can have uh, charts that de depend on another chart, but there is no amped orchestration in Helm. If your application actually needs orchestration, you need to write it yourself. You need to do it, for example, with init containers or any other way possible. So, uh, current Helm architecture looks like this picture, maybe not too nice, but there it is. Uh, so there's client, which gets input from user, uh, it requests, uh, it sends requests to the server, which is called Tiller, which receives user input and acts accordingly. Uh, it uh, can create, delete, uh, rollback, update uh, your Kubernetes objects, and it also stores data about your installed releases. What we are currently doing is we are uh, trying to update this architecture. We are adding new microservice called Rudder. Uh, so Tiller uh, is still the component which handles resources, uh, which handles releases, but uh, it but it requests the uh, actions to be taken on Kubernetes ob objects to Rudder itself. So Rudder is the part which actually uh, installs, upgrades, uh, rolls back your Kubernetes deployments, pods, etc. So Rudder is an interface. Uh, Tiller or anything else communicates to it via gRPC, and as long as it implements uh, the specified gRPC interface, you can write your own rudder. Uh, the proposal for it is here. If you take a look at this presentation later, you can follow this link and see it. Uh, so first we started off with a default rudder, basic rudder, native rudder. Nothing changes. So uh, the only thing that changes is the architecture of the Helm deployment, which has additional pod with rather running in it. But what it gives us is that uh, we have a framework on which we can improve upon and which we can uh, use as, uh, as a baseline for our further implementation with better orchestration. Uh, this is where AppController comes into mix. AppController is a project which we are working in Mirantis since uh, the end of the last year. It is focused solely on orchestration inside Kubernetes cluster. Uh, it runs as a standalone pod. You define your deployment graph and you store it in Kubernetes uh, storage so you don't need any additional storage. Uh, and you run orchestration when you define your whole deployment graph. Uh, and it just deploys it. Uh, it goes topologically through the deployment graph so, uh, so that uh, children in the graph are created after parents. And it has also some advanced status checks. Uh, so to give you an example, we have a basic uh, chart in uh, Helm, for example, WordPress chart, which depends on the MariaDB chart. So there is a Helm dependency here. So what App Controller specific rudder actually does is that when Tiller requests creation of the objects uh, uh, from which Helm, uh, from which, sorry, from which MariaDB and WordPress chart consist, it creates app controller specific dependencies between all WordPress objects and all MariaDB objects. Uh, it may sound complicated, but what it boils down to is that no WordPress object will be created before all MariaDB objects are actually ready. And by ready, I mean ready in a uh, sense of having readiness probe returning that the status is ready. So right now, uh, the current implementation of App Controller rather, as I said, it derives the deployment graph from chart dependencies. So it goes through your chart from your Helm chart tree and creates dependencies based on that. Uh, in the future, we also want to add the uh, dependencies derived from the intra chart definitions. So the parts of your uh, chart, which is one whole, uh, 
can depend on each other. So uh, if you have a part of your application which shouldn't be in separate chart, but which should consist one chart, uh, they, should be able to be, they should be able to depend on each other. But this will, uh, uh, this will need update, update of, the chart, uh, of the chart format on which we are, will be working on. This is it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ache.